Hey gang, I'm Cole Chaney and this is episode 34 of the CBD Source Podcast. Happy Hemp Day. You're listening to the CBD Source Podcast, your source for all things CBD. Coming up in the show, our very own Danny from Seabody just got back from Vegas, baby. She was there working the Ignite CBD booth, and she'll tell us some stories about what she saw at that massive trade show. It's Thanksgiving week, so we're going to hear from some of the CBD Source Podcast crew about what their Thanksgiving plans are and what they're thankful for except for our vape expert, Anthony, who's homesick with the flu. Later in the show, when Ryan and I went down to interview Anthony Sullivan in Hoboken, New Jersey, we decided to swing right over to the edge of the Hudson River, like right looking at the Manhattan skyline, and do a CBD source unboxing of a big box of CBD MD products. And uh, thank you so much to CBD MD for sending us that box. We may be giving away some CBD MD later on in the show. Stay tuned for that. Our CBD guru, Akas, just got back from a month-long trip to India. We'll hear some CBD thoughts from him, and we'll also catch up with our cannabidiot chef, Ryan, and see if there's any good CBD-infused Thanksgiving recipes that you might be able to whip up for Turkey Day. We'll also talk about mine and, and Ryan's upcoming trip to Vegas for MJ BizCon, and if you're attending that event, how to get in touch with us and maybe be on the show. Danny's joining us in the studio. So, gang, let's cannabidive right into it. This is the CBD Source Podcast. Gang, you're listening to the CBD Source Podcast. It's time for another little spotlight with, I don't know, it's not really a full episode of Seabody. No, <laughs> it's just a chill sesh. You want us to play your uh, theme song, though, anyway? You don't have Sea to. Seabody? Nah, it's okay. <laughs> well, I think people need to establish your voice with that song, so let her rip. Let CBD help you achieve the body you deserve. This is Seabody with Danny. Body with Danny. We're not, we don't have an athlete in here today, but we do have one coming up. Oh my God. What an amazing. Oh, I'm excited. I don't want to spoil anything, but let's, maybe I can give a little like hint, a little teaser. Um, let's just hmm. say. It has to do with water. Well, I don't know if that might be too much of a teaser. Let's just say she has, it's a, it's a female athlete. I don't know. This might be too much of a giveaway. She has 12 Olympic medals. Can we say that? Is that too much of a giveaway? Eh, I don't think so. How many other so. living female American athletes have 12 Olympic medals? I don't think that many. I think there might be <laughs> only a few. One or oh, two, geez. maybe. Yeah. So that really limits it. So if you wanted to research and try to figure it out, you might be able to figure it out. But yeah, we have a huge guest coming on Seabody soon. And uh, I guess in the next several weeks, we'll we'll work that out. But yeah, wow. Very cool get. So uh, that's going to be a fun one to do, Danny. Um, Danny just got back from Vegas. Woo. <laughs> Vegas, baby. Um, what were you there for? I was there for the CBD IO trade show. Cool. I, like, tell, I've been seeing a lot of buzz on the internet about it. Uh, a lot of the brands that, that go to Champs were there, a lot of ton of CBD brands. Yeah, I walked the whole show. It was um, it was only one floor, but it was it was awesome. There were a lot of vendors there. There were a lot of um, I saw a lot of CBD makeup vendors. I huh. thought that was really cool. Well, next episode we might be getting into a little bit of CBD beauty. Not Ooh. not this episode. <laughs> next week you might have to come back for that one. Um, so t- tell me what what else you saw. What what kind of stuff? Um, saw a lot of vendors there. I was mainly at one booth the entire time because I was working one of the booths. So What booth? The Ignite booth. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, it was funny. I had to take a break because um, to to celebrate Shabbos. So I had to leave early. Uh-huh. And um, of course, the time when I had to leave, Dan Bilzerian popped up. and I was, That's when he showed up? That's when he showed up because his assistant... Um, 
she left, maybe she left around 1.30 and she didn't come back with him. So he, his office in Vegas is only 20 minutes from the convention center. So she was like, yeah, I'll be right back with him. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'll say hi to him. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm waiting. An hour <laughs> passes, another hour passes. And I'm like, damn, where the hell is he? And uh, everybody's like, oh, he's just, uh, he's at his house right now, chilling. I'm like, uh, okay, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So then I'm like, okay, it's it's 3.30. I have to leave Uh because the sundown's going soon. Right. And um, so then somebody texted me. They were like, oh, yeah, he showed up. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. (laughs) But um, prior to that, I was running around and all of a sudden there was this announcement that that said, okay, everybody, welcome Mike Tyson. I was like, what What? the fuck? I'm like, okay, he's here. <laughs> I'm like, all right. These are two of the, the biggest guests we'd want to get and for then, our show. Yeah, and then Dennis Rodman was there too. Wow. Yeah, they were there speaking about it, saying like, you know, thank you everyone for being here, being an advocate for CBD. You know, and throughout the um, throughout the trade show, they also had like little seminars on how to market CBD. So that was mm-hmm. interesting. I got to stay. I got to stay there for a couple minutes listening to that. There were also a lot of booths um, trying to help businesses market CBD better. Mm-hmm. So it was definitely like a good show to go to for, um, I guess, like a push in advocacy. Right. That's great. Yeah, I heard that Dan Bozerian was there for like thirty three minutes or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he usually only does like 10 to 12 minutes at trade shows his assistant i love his assistant she's awesome do you have her contact like get us in touch because i want to i want to interview dan so bad yeah she's really nice her name is Aaron. okay cool hmm maybe we could work this out sometime yeah, Aaron's awesome maybe after we get back from M- mj bizcon or something yeah that's exciting i heard yeah this is gonna be good we're psyched <laughs> but, i'm not gonna be able to go but you yeah, and Ryan well, are you gonna just, have a great time you, you just did cvdio so you're pretty you're pretty set i wish we would have sent you with some more gear like so you could, but I, you were doing the ignite stuff so like i wasn't expecting to go it was just like a last minute thing because we were there um we were there for Ignite, but then um, all of a sudden I found out, oh, yeah, we're going to the trade show. I'm like, wait, what? I was supposed <laughs> to just go to Fremont Street. This was supposed to be a mini vacation for right, me. Right. All right. Oh, man, I would have sent you with like a, at least a small hand recorder or something. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. At least we get to hear the stories. Did you see Mike? Did you see Iron Mike himself? What, Mike Tyson? I did. I saw him from a distance because all of a sudden, once the announcement was made, everybody started running. Oh, sure. Of course. Yeah. So then here I am. I'm like a freaking peanut. I'm like, <laughs> okay, can I see something? Someone boost me up. Yeah. Did he have an entourage? Um, a very small one. He was with Dennis Rodman, but he, you know, he wasn't trying to make a big deal about it. He seemed very, um, humble about it. Mike, if you ever hear this, we want you on the show. (laughs) I want to go on your show too. Like, man, that guy's got it going on. Like he's really positioned himself in this space in such a great way, especially because his his amusement park and all that stuff, his resort. (laughs) What? (laughs) Okay. We talked about that a while ago. He is like a, a weed Resort, sort of like a Disneyland for adults with a, a mile long oh, lazy river. My yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. I must be living under a rock. I didn't hear about that. Tyson is big in this industry now. It's really cool. I didn't know Dennis Rodman was, was getting into it. So that's great. Yeah, I think a lot more uh, retired athletes are becoming advocates. <laughs> yeah. And when you lay around being sore with like all the years of damage you did to your body. Oh. I can only imagine you. You know, someone turns you on to CBD, and you're like, "Now I have to. Now I have to live my life t- talking about the benefits of this because this is too good." You know, like this is really helping me. So, yeah, might as well help everyone else. Um, anything else did you did you catch while you were there on the? What kind of beauty products did you see? Because we didn't really, uh, we don't really carry too many beauty products ourselves. I I want to start carrying the products in the store oh, because I think that would be awesome for the skin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what did I see? I just saw like, you know, general makeup products like mascara. Hmm. Um, I think I saw foundation. There was probably a whole bunch of like primer sprays probably. I don't know. Cool. I'm trying to think about it. I was just like, uh, you know, I was just walking throughout the show. It's a lot to, to see take what was in. Going on. Yeah. It was the convention center is so big. Yeah. Right. It is huge. It's like, oh, I think a <laughs> maybe like a football field and a half of just like, there were probably like almost eight rows, like 
deep back. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it was nuts. Lots and lots of CBD. Did you see a lot of our vendors there? Um, yeah, I saw Pacha Mama. I saw a CBD dinner lady. Um, I think I saw a green roads booth. Oh, before I forget, I'm, I'm going to continue like naming them, mm -hmm. but, um, it was cool right near the Ignite booth on the other side. There was like this huge pit where there was like a DJ uh -huh. and uh, the DJ was on top of this bus, a double decker bus. Oh, wow. And I found out that if you went upstairs to the bus where the DJ was, you were able to like smoke CBD rolls. <laughs> yeah. They called it the, um, the C, what did they call it? They called it, I think they called it the Bud Lounge, the nice. CBD IO Bud Lounge or Flower <laughs> Lounge. Something Very like cool. that. Yeah. Did you ever make your way up there or you're too busy like working? I was it? too busy working it. Oh damn. That, the cool though. Cool concept. Yeah. It was a real bus that they had driven into the place or they built it to look um, like a bus. I think they built it to look like a bus. I didn't really get to get a good look at it. Yeah, when you when you go to these massive, massive trade shows, the construction that some of these booths have, it's like insane. I know that in Vegas especially they have like those massive TV screens that are like mm -hmm. For digital signage. Four floor tall TV screens, yeah. like insane. It's like you're in Times Square, but you're just in a building, you know, like totally random, massive TV, you know, showing Tommy Chung rolling a joint or something in the on the screen or whatever. Mm -hmm. Really crazy. So that's awesome. I'm glad you had a, a good time. Yeah. So that was like a big surprise. So that's why I was like, hey, surprise, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, when, when I saw that you went, I was like, oh my God. I, like, I just saw, I just saw someone post that Mike Tyson was there and I was like, and Danny's there? And then all there? of a sudden you found out I was there. You were like, gold mine. <laughs> We've been talking Tyson since day <laughs> one on this show. That's so cool. We're, that just, I feel like we're one step closer to, to getting him on the show. I I'm, was super surprised that he was there. I was so like taken aback. <laughs> so when like, you know, I'm working the booth and then I just hear this big announcement, I'm like, Oh, okay. He's here. All right. So then I was like, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go. I'm going to go that way. Right, right. So I got like a little tiny clip of him. But by the time I got to him, he finished talking and I was like, damn it. Uh. <laughs> but I, but what the tail end that I caught was him thanking everybody for like, you know, being here. And, it, you know, it pushes CBD out there. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a little 50 second montage that CBD IO put together on their YouTube page of Mike Tyson speaking at CBDIO 2019 in Vegas. We have a knockout shot, we have a rebound shot, and this is going to be one of our exponents and one of our partners to work with us, and this is Mr. The Worm, Dennis Rodman. So we're an opportunity to see two of our iconic figures to go eventually in with a, with a product like this. I'm so grateful to be with the Mike, Mike Tyson and the Tyson Ransom and family. You know, I heard that he was just with him, but by the time I got back there, I didn't know if he spoke or not. Right, right. Yeah. I Now I have to research because he's he's also, you know, former NBA player. He was big in the, mm -hmm. you know, so uh, he would be a good guest for Seabody too. Yeah. Both of those guys, you know, they're huge in the space. So, yeah, great. Um so the first day was just all B2B, I guess. That's the day you were there. Yeah, it was it was very slow. But then when I um, spoke to the reps from Ignite, they told me that it was a, it was better the next day. Which was like open to the public and stuff, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, it was it was open to the public um, the first day. Oh, was it? It was actually very hard um, the first day. Mm -hmm. um, the person who bought the passes, they accidentally didn't give me an exhibitor one. Uh-huh. So then the other ones had exhibitor ones, and I guess they were not allowing um, people in at certain times. Like, only exhibitors could go in first, and then I had a buyer pass. Uh -huh. So then I was allowed to go in an hour afterwards, and the person that I came with was like, oh, hell no. That's <laughs> no. And then he realized, oh, I have a second one, you know, here, just where wear my double. And I'm like but it has your name on it. He was like, I guarantee you they're not going to pay attention to the name. Right. They're only going to look to see if it's an exhibitor. Right. What happened? I walked in with a man's name. No question. There you go. And I was like, all right, we're chilling. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. Did you try any samples or anything while you were there? Or you just um, I tried some of the Ignite gummies. Um, 
They were pretty good. They they just came out. They're not in the stores yet. So they were just like, you guys can try them. And I was nice. like, okay. They, they're really good. Wow, I like them a lot. This, before the public. What, yeah. So what, what what shape are they? Like, give us a little description. Um, they're like a little square. They have, um, they're broad spectrum. They have like little crystal, you know, like most gummies. Like they little have like, sugar on top. Yeah, little sugar crystals. Um, They come in three flavors. It's orange, cherry, and lemon. I had all three flavors. I had a shit ton. I had a whole packet <laughs> to myself. I was so hungry. Because right. I had to wait until like seven o'clock at night to eat. And so I was just like popping them in right, every yeah. once in a while <laughs> how many milligrams each were they um oh geez i forget i forget but i think it was like a very low dose i think it might have been um if i'm gonna estimate probably 10 milligrams per gummy okay okay it's pretty un- pretty average. Yeah, and they're and they're vegan like oh, most of his products. Nice. So they had a they had like the full line there. I had no idea that they had roll-ons and sports creams. Oh, they've got everything, huh? Oh yeah, they're well, they're coming out with a sports cream as well. They're coming out with a lip balm, so we're going to be carrying all of that in our CBD source stores. We're nice. going to be carrying the full line. Cool, cool. Does it come with hot chicks? I'm just kidding. How, I found, many, how many hot chicks were at this booth? I have no idea, but I found out that they came with him, Did just they? like they do every time. He brought the, he brought an entourage. He brought the ladies. When does he not bring a the harem, ladies? Dude, that guy rolls like twenty women deep or something, probably. Oh my gosh, <laughs> have you seen some of his videos on Instagram? Yeah, yeah. His Halloween party looked insane. Yeah, I heard that like his last year's Halloween party cost something like one hundred fifty thousand dollars to <laughs> just to produce. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> like people, you know, walking on uh, tight ropes over the pool with fire, you know, you know like spinning fire things. Get and, out. You know, just as crazy as you can get. He's the modern Hugh Hefner in a oh way. Oh my gosh, yeah. But uh, man, yeah, he's taking over. Supposedly he's trying to run against Kanye for president. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, so that's going on. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, get out. Uh, that, I, yeah, that's strange. Maybe it's just publicity hype. Who knows? Probably. We'll see, you know, in a couple of years. But uh, very cool. It's, I, yeah, I'm so glad you, you're, you're getting closer and closer to these people that are like the top of the different parts of the industry and like. They're coming. I feel like they're getting closer and closer to being on this show. You know what I mean? Like and it's I'm- all edging towards great episodes that I can imagine coming in the future. Yeah. And I'm keeping in touch with Ashley. So hopefully if she goes to the Olympics, we can do something. Yeah, with her again. exactly. Exactly. And and you've got a couple more, uh, like you were telling me, there's a couple more uh, athletes that you've got like on the line that we might be doing pretty mm-hmm. soon. Can't don't want to mention them yet either. Like don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, some more, you know, Mostly female athletes so far too, right? They're yeah, from what I could get my like, it's not on purpose, but it's just like <laughs> you know who I come across. Right, right, very cool though. So uh, you guys will all have that to look forward to. Thanks so much for swinging in and tell me all about CBDIO. Like I'm glad I feel like I've been there now in a way. Like I I feel like I've gotten uh, a little taste of it. And uh, do you think it's worth? Do you think it like was this the first time they did it, or was this like did they say anything like that? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm really like I wasn't sure because it, everything was just such a surprise to me <laughs> how I, you know, I walked into the office one day and they were like, oh, we got you a, a ticket for the trade show. I'm like, what? What trade show? <laughs> so it was just like a right. surprise. I'm right. like, OK, cool. I'm rolling. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Very cool, though. Like I couldn't I would want to be there, but also like back to back trade shows is just would kill me, I think. Like it's too close to the next one. So like I'm glad you got to to do this one and experience it and we get to live through you now and hear the stories. Yeah, I'm excited for MJ BizCon for you and Ryan. Exactly. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. But uh very cool. I'm glad the C B D I O thing worked out. Uh Thanks for swinging in and telling us, Danny. Yeah, no problem. And next time we talk to you, we'll be talking to a legit legend uh athlete. I'm excited. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Thanks, gang. All right. Peace out. The CBD Gang.com. The official subreddit for fans of the CBD Source podcast. Questions, answers, CBD gangsters, and karma. And sweet, sweet karma. Now it's time for some CB Deep Thoughts with the Koss, 
our resident CBD girl. Akas, you just got back from India. You were there for like a month. Yes, it was a really great trip. Uh, in our last episode, we interviewed Dr. Priyanka Sharma, and she was talking about um, how hemp and cannabis are like parts of the Indian culture and that hemp just grows wild there and stuff. And I was telling her about your story that you were telling me, but I didn't know all the details um, about that that one holiday where everyone makes bong, B-H-A-N-G. Can you tell me a little, can you tell me that story? Because I, I really didn't know it, so I didn't go into, into full detail. But this story is so fascinating. So basically we have a festival called Sivratri where Lord Siva was born. Shiva, and what is it? Shiva? Shiva, Lord Siva. He's a god of God. He's a... A he's god the, of God? Yep. Okay. And... Uh, he is basically was taking bang and during his birthday everybody like there will be a stall on the road where everybody will sell bang and people will drink on that day like legally people can drink on that day legally basically it made of milk and hemp it's not just hemp it's actually it's actually like the marijuana side yeah marijuana side right, it's right. not a hemp hemp it's a marijuana where you need to marinate that uh, marijuana into milk and people will drink it. So you let it soak in and infuse itself into the milk. Yep. And then it makes like a sweet, is it sort of like a yogurty drink? No, it's like a milk with all dry fruits and it's a sweet, sweet milk. And you're not gonna feel any taste of marijuana. You will, you will simply, you will feel like you're drinking a milk, sweet milk. And I love this because the reason why it's legal that day and everyone's supposed to drink bong is because this God of God, Shiva, loves weed yes he was <laughs> like in some of his pictures you can see he's smoking weed that is so cool with the chillum how many with the chillum right yep. that, that indian smoking device yep how cool is that that there's an actual god out there like that people are worshiping that smokes weed i love it it's such a cool fact when you told me that the first time that there are holidays what's the holiday called siv ratri siv ratri okay siv is the lord's name and ratri means night uh-huh so well, that's why it's called Sivratri. When is it? So basically, we follow Hindu uh, Hindu religion calendar. It depends on the every year. So in 2020, it's February 21st. Sivratri okay. is on February 21st. That's coming. That's coming up. Yep, it's coming up after four months. Pretty soon, man. Maybe we'll, you know what we'll do. I think because we're in New York and it's not legal uh, to make it the marijuana style, we can make a hemp version of bong. Yeah, definitely. Like a CBD, we can make a CBD version and we can all drink it here. That would be dope. Yep. That's a, so it's like a, we'll still be celebrating it and, you know, honoring Shiva in a way, but it won't be his, his favorite drink. It'll be his second favorite drink. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> since you mentioned about that, let me tell you one story during my college days. So my college group, my all my friends. So what we do, making a bang, it's a long process. It's not like one or two hour. You need at least five to six hours to make a really good bang. Oh, wow. So in the morning, we'll start preparing all of our friend circle in one of our friend's house and it will get done by the evening and everybody will drink it and we'll have fun. Everybody will be like in their zone. <laughs> Everyone will be lit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so how do, what's the process? If someone wanted to make this at home, don't remember? Nope. It's, <laughs> it's been a while, so I don't remember. But one of my friends had a really good expertise right now. He's not even in India. He's in another country, but... He was the main person who was doing all this work. Well, on February, like February 21st, when it actually happens, uh, before that happens, contact that friend, get the directions, and then we'll make it here in our CBD, like cannabis diet test kitchen. Yep, definitely. We'll have Chef Ryan make up a huge batch of bong. You and you and Ryan can work together and, and make up a nice big batch and then we'll all drink it. Oh, yes, definitely. Or we can find something on YouTube. Yeah, we'll find the we'll find a way to make it. I mean, it, it, there's no reason to try to CBD infusing it. It will be CBD infused. You yep, know? CBD infused bong. <laughs> Are there any other festivals that like people do drink the bong? Color festival. Oh, what is the color festival? So basically, color festival is a two-day festival, and where everybody will get together and play with the color with their friends, family, and uh, it's not part of tradition but people will drink bang that day too to enjoy 
<laughs> exactly, man. That like definitely would. That's the one where they get like the powdered colors and throw them all around and stuff. Yes. Oh man, those are the coolest pictures online. Like I would love to to actually go to that one day, drink the bong, run around, throw colors on each other. So so cool. Yep. Awesome, Akash. Thanks for stopping by, man. Thank you, Colin. Yeah. Bye. Peace. or want to try quality third-party tested CBD? Do you live in the New York, Pennsylvania area? We got you covered, gang. We're growing more each month, so check in with cbdsourcecenter.com to find our addresses and new store locations. While you're there, sign up for our mailing list. We're adding new stores across New York and Pennsylvania all the time. We may soon be expanding to a town near you. All right, gang, we're down here in Hoboken, New Jersey. Beautiful Manhattan skyline behind us. I think there's a cruise ship about to go by. We're going to open up this box. We can do a little CBD Source podcast, CBD Source unboxing from CBD MD. All right, let's get, let's get to it. Let's do this. Let's cut this sucker open. I'm going to put this mic right down here so we can hear it. There's helicopters and everything going around, so it's going to be tough to pick this up, I think, on all audio forms. Man, there's a lot of helicopter activity. All right, let's see what CBDMD sent us. I am clueless as to what's going to be in here, so it's as a surprise to me as it is to you, gang. Come on in. Let's take a look. I don't want anything to blow away. I mean, it is windy. We are right on the Hudson River here. Wow, there's a good, a good supply of stuff, though. All right, let me see. Do you have a bag or something? Let me see. All right, I'll just shove this shit in my pocket. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. There's a lot of tinctures in here. All right. Let's do this. Maybe I should sit down or something. Can I put this down? Ugh. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's going to blow away, man. All right. So we're getting this box open. We've got... CBD MD Recover 1500 milligram inflammation formula. Nice. It's plastic sealed. Pop that. This is so you know no one's tampering with my stuff. I'll get this thing open. Let's take a look. 1500 milligrams of CBD and it's 120 milliliters in this container. Wow, look at that. Take a look at this. Get this up close. Check this out. Can you see this? Look at that. Right to the rim. That's that's like quality. So let's take a little bit of this. It's very cool to the touch. Sort of it's very smooth. It smells really good. You want to take a whiff of this? Take a sniff. Take a little finger dab of that rye. What do you think? What does it smell like to you? It's not overwhelming. It smells refreshing. Very pure, very clean smelling, and it really feels good too on the back of my hand. I'm just rubbing it on. Cool. I'll, now that I'm kneeling on rocks right now to shoot this, <laughs> I'm probably going to be putting this on my knees later. A little CBD recovery. All right, let's see what else we've got in this box. What else are we unboxing? Oh, nice. Two tinctures here. I'm gonna pop open the bubble wrap around it while holding this mic so it's a little awkward. All right, so we've got premium CBD oil, 1500 milligram. That's a nice size dose um, as, at a one ounce tincture bottle. And we've got a 500 milligram Sleep Aid CBD PM from CBD MD and it has melatonin in it. This is the one you take when you're going to Betty by. This is the one you take when you're waking up. That's how I'm gonna play this game. Um, I'm not going to sleep right now, but so I'll try this 1500 natural flavor. So this is gonna taste as natural as it comes. You know, like this is straight from the, the hemp plant. All right, I'm gonna pop this tincture open and take a tink. Actually, first I'm gonna shake it up. 
It says, suggested use twice daily or as needed. Keep away from heat, light, humidity. Oh, it's right in the sun right now, so this is not good for this bottle. I'm gonna shake it up. Get that shake going on this tank. So I'm taking a little over one mil of this, and uh, here it goes. Oh, drop to drop. Let's do it. Under the tongue, tink that tink. Very smooth. You wanna try? All right, here, give me that camera. I'll flip it around. Our cameraman, Ryan, he's also our CBD chef, our cannabidiot chef. Very smooth, right? Like the, uh, the other ones, it doesn't have that overpowering taste. Um, but this one is smooth, very smooth. Very, very smooth. It's like a smooth scotch or something. It's such, uh, like, it's very muted and smooth. Wow. For 1500 milligram, that's great. I think I'll save the PM one for later. All right, so we've got some, oh, <laughs> we can try these. They're for cats and dogs. Listen, I have a cat, you have a dog, so we'll each try our own feline and canine style. <laughs> I don't need to try your dog's tincture, but let's, let me pop these little plastic safety tabs off here. Plastic on there to show it's not been tampered with. You don't want to have a bottle that someone's already tinked half of it by the time you're buying it. I'm just throwing money away at that point. Here's the Paw CBD. 1500 milligram canine oil. Wow. And it's peanut butter flavored. Dude. And the feline CBD oil is 300 milligram catnip flavor. I'm going to try that peanut butter flavor too because I like peanut butter. I don't care if it's four dogs. It's got a, a photo of a Weimaraner on it. And uh, the cat one has a picture of just, I guess, a tabby cat. So I'm going to try these and then you can try them too if you like the flavor of catnip. I don't know. We'll see. It's in, it's in the hemp family, right? All right, I'm gonna shake these up first. All right, I'm trying the catnip flavor. I don't know if that's uh, gonna be great, but it's worth a shot. You know, it's great for cats, but who knows if it's great for humans. Surprisingly good. <laughs> Actually really good. The cats are, are really getting a good deal there. That is good. Mm. Wow. That is so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> like, I gotta say, CBD MD products, just the taste is so smooth. It's really like, it's, it doesn't spike you with that, with any kind of like insane hemp taste that just knocks you out. It is like a very smooth, almost like a, a malted version. It's very, very good. I'm gonna try the peanut butter one. <sighs> Getting a lot of CBD in me here. This is the Paw CBD, canine CBD oil, 1500 milligram. Uh, peanut butter flavor for your pup ups. It says serving size dogs 50 to 100 pounds, one milliliter daily. The catnip flavor was clear. This one's a little yellowish, so I'm going to try this because there's so much hemp in it. What? That tastes so good. <laughs> that tastes so good. Oh my God, that tastes like uh, like candy. Like the peanut butter you put in a candy, like if you mix it with chocolate, that's like that, like a Reese's almost. That is smooth. Wow. Yum. When we make something, a, a cannabidite like confection with peanut butter flavor, this is what your go-to is, man. Don't give this to the dog. This is for us to eat. That is good. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else is in this box of goodies. Okay, here we are. It's a, we've got a square here of six cubes and they all say CBD bath bomb. They're all different colors. They have colors on the top. For anyone who likes art, this looks like a Damien Hirst piece. I'm gonna crack this open. It's like six different colored swatches of with uh, colored circles on the top that all say CBD MD in white on them. All right, so each of these is a bath bomb, which when you're taking a bath, you just pop one of these suckers open. Let me throw it up, throw it open. Oh, losing stuff. Got it, good. So this one, for example, this orange one is eucalyptus. So you would take that plastic off, lay in your tub, you know, 
You're having a nice night to yourself, ladies. Light some candles, drop this in there. It dissolves and you just soak in CBD and it just soaks into your skin all over. Wow, we've got the whole collection here. So there are Rise, Romance, Resist, Relax, Restore, and Rejuvenate. The entire collection. Wow. That is pretty sweet. Gonna be having some good bath nights soon. <laughs> These are good. Thank you, CBDMD. That's gonna be fun. Try that romance one out. All right, let's see. We've got one last thing in this box of goodies. CBDMD premium gummies. These, I've had some of these before and they are the bomb. These are so good. 750 milligrams, 30 gummies. I know you're gonna want some of these, Rye. Let's bust this open. Let's crack this. There's a tamper seal on the top. Hmm, they smell good. They don't smell hempy, they just smell good. All right. They're coated with sugar, they're squares. They're like cubes. Um, sort of translucent, you can sort of see in the sun. Can you zoom in on that, can you get that? All right, I'm eating one that looks sort of like a peach color. Here are the flavors. Orange, strawberry, raspberry, and tropical. Mmm. I guess this is the strawberry or? No. I'm gonna have to try the others to find out for sure. I'm trying a dark red one. It's either the strawberry or the raspberry. Can you see it? How much are these each? <laughs> It's 10 calories per gummy. One gummy is 25 milligrams. All right, so I just ate 25. Here's another 25. Mmm. Good stuff. Some geese, some geese are joining us, right? Check it out. Right behind you. These geese got word of the, the CBD gummies. That they're like down for it. Can we feed them some catnip CBD? Think they'd go for it? Want me to throw them a gummy? <laughs> if I threw a CBD gummy, would it be okay? All right. <laughs> Let's get these geese bristling up in this piece. The bristling. Hey geese. All right, you want to try one of these, Ryan? All right, I gave you I gave you the orange and the uh, pineapple or the tropical. So give those a shot. I tried the raspberry and the strawberry. We're doing, we're going 50 each year. I've had these before as well. They are the best that I've ever had before. You get the hemp taste afterwards, but it's worth it. And 750, we're gonna be bristling. The bristling. <laughs> nice. Mmm. Yeah, that is good. I'm gonna go back for seconds on this peanut butter one. <laughs> I know I know it shows a dog, but you know, I'm a dog. If if this makes me a dog, I want fucking more of this. Take me to the pound. You wanna try this? <laughs> we're doing dog treats here on the CBD Source podcast. We're we're drinking dog tanks. Dogs shouldn't have all the fun. Here, take it. Alright. Tell me how that tastes. Tell me if the dogs are, are like making out like bandits on this. Can you tell it if you threw some chocolate on top of that? That's straight peanut butter. That's really smooth. Yeah. It's like the smoothest peanut butter. <laughs> Why just dogs? CBDMD, you should make a human version of that peanut butter. Because that is and it's strong enough for a human. I mean 1500 is a, a nice strong dose. So whew, I feel it already, man. Oh man, my bones are like I feel my joints. Yes. Well, this was fun and these were delicious. Many milligrams of CBD, uh, CBD source podcast, CBD source unboxing. Thank you gang for tuning in. Oh. Thank you Hoboken for hosting us. It was fun and uh, wow, I feel really great. I like feel like I should go run a marathon or something. <laughs> Man, let's do it. There's seagulls everywhere. You think these seagulls would like gummies? 
These guys will eat anything. Give them some nighttime CBD and see what happens. I'm not going to be feeding the seagull CBD. Don't write letters. <laughs> All right, gang. From Hoboken with the beautiful Manhattan skyline behind me, this is Call Cheney, CBD Source Podcast. We're back with the CBD Source Podcast. So before we wrap up the show, uh, the girl who actually wraps it up, Cass, is in studio with us. Hey, Cole, what's up? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> um, you're, the, you're taking over uh, the internet side of this. You're really doing the Reddit and you're doing our MailChimp. You're, you're sending out our newsletter every week. Uh, you, you recently started a blog on our website. Yeah, it's actually pretty neat because you can listen to the uh, the episode and read about it at the same time. Right there on the blog. <laughs> yeah. How many episodes you've done? The last two? Last two, yeah. Anthony Sullivan and Cody Alt. Cool. Cody Alt's my favorite because it's got some pretty intense old pictures of him on there. <laughs> yeah, you did, you did some good research on that one. And uh, you photoshopped a little version of him uh, in the Weed Man van. You'll have to check it out yourself, <laughs> cbdsourcepodcast.com, and just check the blog sections up in the like upper right of the menu, uh, and you'll see Cass's handiwork. But you're in here right now because we're going to give away a prize. Yes, we are. So in this episode, we unboxed some CBD MD when we went down to Hoboken. Um, two weeks ago, when we talked with Cody Alt, we did an unboxing of Pure Kana, one of his CBD brands, a huge box. So we've got some Pure Kana products that we're going to be giving away. We mentioned it on that episode. It's two weeks later. So now we can finally give these prizes away. Cass, what are the prizes? So we've got a Pure Kana CBD oil drop. Nice. That's a tincture. Pure Kana CBD infused toothpicks, which I hear are actually pretty great. Yeah, we all tried them except, except for you. You're except the only one. <laughs> Um, and we have a Pure Kana Citrus Energy Beverage Enhancer, which is yeah. pretty much just a drop. Yeah, it's like a it's like a Mio kind of a Mio for CBD. Yeah. You just put it in water, and it you know turns it into CBD water. So who are we giving all these three prizes to? Drum roll, please. We've got Reverend to the Shadow on Reddit. Who, Reverend to the Shadow. Reverend to the Shadow. Congratulations, Reverend to the Shadow. You'll be taking home these Pure Kana CBD products. So in order to enter the contest, you had to tell us why you wanted to win. And Reverend to the Shadow said that he'd like to win because he has severe carpal tunnel. And since using CBD last year, he's been able to sleep like normal. Nice. I had a, I had a professor in college who had severe carpal tunnel and she couldn't use a keyboard anymore. A graphic designer that couldn't use a mouse or keyboard. Oh, wow. Yeah, really screwed her up. She had to have assistance to do any of that stuff. Just jacks your, like, the backs of your hands up really bad. Yeah, what do you do with your career at that point? You just can can lecture, I guess. (laughs) That's about it if you're a graphic designer. Um, So congratulations and uh, enjoy those products. I'm sure you'll love them. Combine them, you know, like take a take a tank and then put a toothpick in your mouth and uh, squirt some mew in (laughs) a cup. Titrate up. Yeah, you'll be bristling by day one. The bristling. Now let's go into the CBD prize stash box and see what we've got this week. CBD MD Sleep Aid. It's 500 milligrams, one ounce bottle. When Ryan and I opened up that CBD MD CBD source unboxing uh, down in Hoboken, which you heard earlier, the one thing that I didn't try was the, the CBD MD sleep tincture because it was like the middle of the day and I didn't want to make myself too sleepy because, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, like it's probably got melatonin in there and stuff like stuff to make you more tired on top of the CBD. Um, and you you said you have this at home. You have this exact bottle, right? Yes, I do. I I, uh, I use it every night and it actually helps um, whether it's the CBD or the melatonin. <laughs> it's is probably left good. for anybody to find out for themselves. Yeah, probably a good combination. What what does it taste like? Because I've never tasted this one. Um, it tastes like mint. It's actually pretty good. Oh, cool. Cool. So if you are having trouble sleeping and uh, you haven't tried CBD or you have, you've tried CBD and it hasn't totally knocked you out the way you want. This one is made for like relaxing you into sleep. <laughs> like I take it 30 minutes before I go to bed and I better be in bed when that 30 minutes hits because <laughs> I am out like a light. So we have a 500 milligram bottle. Um, 
did the math on that. What What's 500 divided by 30? Do you have a calculator with you, Cass? Nope. <laughs> Your phone or anything? 500 divided... I wonder if it says on here. 500 divided by 30. 30. Why did I not bring my phone in here again? Well, 3 times 3 is 9. It's about like 15 and a half milligrams per okay. dropper. Okay, so one, one tank is like 15... And a half. Yeah, probably between like 15 and 16 milligrams of CBD. And you know, you've got melatonin and other stuff in there that's gonna soothe you off to sleep. Does, does it have anything? Oh, it says on, right here. What does it say? 16 milligrams. Good math, Cass. <laughs> <Woo> <laughs> what does it say on the side? Is it, does it say anything else about what's in it? Or, um, it's got MCT oil, yeah. right? That's a that's a coconut oil. Oh, coconut oil, one gram. A proprietary blend of passion flower, cascade hops, valerian root, chamomile flower, and lemon balm, which I've seen in other melatonin products. Nice. So that's 250 milligrams. Valerian root sounds like something you'd find in like Deep in High the Garden or something, <laughs> like in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Uh, uh, cool. So, so yeah. that's that's what's up this week. We're gonna start giving away CBD every week um, from our CBD stash box, our prize box. What are we gonna call it? Like, I'm still I'm still up in the air about yeah, what we're calling this thing. The CBD prize. The hash basket. <laughs> the hash bag. <laughs> hash bag. <laughs> Hashtag hash bag. Hashtag the hash bag. <laughs> and you may win the CBD MD tincture. Um, yeah, man, hashbag's kind of funny. Does hashbag. I wonder if that ta- if hashtagging hashbag is a thing? Maybe we should use the hashtag hashbag. Hashbag is that good or do not? you think people would think like douchebag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's not hash. Well, let's win a douchebag. <laughs> We're not doing anything with hash. We're not selling hash. Um. Like, hash is short for hashish, not hemp. Yeah. Speaking of which, we're going to be seeing Frenchie Cannoli, the master hashi- hashin, hashishin. I don't know what you call it. Someone who makes hash. Hashian. Uh, hashian. Something like that. <laughs> we're going to be seeing Frenchie uh, in just a couple weeks when we go to Vegas. He's going to be uh, at a booth there. So, um, and he's going to be swinging by our, uh, you know, to record some interview with us, some podcasting live like we've we've done we've done the over the skype thing or over the phone thing with him um but haven't actually met him in person we've we've got two episodes earlier in the show i think it's like early on like episode 13 and 14 something like that so i'd say just scroll you know scroll back and see the earlier episodes if you want to learn about hash Uh, because this is the master of hash that he he teaches everyone in california you know he teaches how to make hash so like anyone who's making hash in california learned it from this guy pretty much wow so we're gonna see him um but right now we're gonna give away this cbd md bottle uh so you can lull yourself to sleep what should people do (laughs) who are always as stumped on how to give these things away because uh we're the easiest prize closet on earth because nobody enters our contest. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. How about someone? All right. We want to hear your worst insomnia story. Like if you have, if you have trouble falling asleep and use, you use CBD or are thinking about using CBD to try to help you get to sleep, uh, you toss and turn all night or whatnot. Give us your best insomnia. Can't fall asleep story. Give us a call, 1-833-CBD-GANG. That's 1-833-223-4264. It's a free call. You have up to three minutes to record your call. Give us your best insomnia, can't sleep story, and you have a chance to win the CBDMD 500 milligram tincture of... Sleep Aid CBD PM. CBD PM. All right, gang. It's all up to you now. Make that call. It's a free call. It's anonymous. Please call. (laughs) Call us. But at the very end of your call, like leave an email address or something so we can get in touch with you um, and tell you that you won. All right. Uh, and we're going to have to require proof that you're over 21 um, for the, you know whoever wins. So if you're not 21 or over, don't bother making the call. 
you can always email <laughs> us uh, <laughs> CBD source podcast at gmail.com and tell us your stories that way as well. Or DM us on Instagram. Send us a Facebook message. Yeah. At CBD source podcast. Or you can go to our Reddit page. Cass. Yeah, come to uh, the cbdgang.com. That'll take you right to our subreddit. Or if you're already on Reddit, you can go to r slash cbdgang. There you go. You can win. Let's see. Let's see some good insomnia stories. I'd love to hear some. Uh, I think there's been a couple times where I've woken up my boyfriend because I couldn't sleep. So. Really? Let's see if anybody's got anything <laughs> crazier than that. <laughs> Anyone sleepwalk? That would be cool to hear any yeah, stories yeah, about yeah. what you might have done while sleepwalking. A little stepbrothers action. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any plans for Thanksgiving, Tasha? You know what? This is the first year out on my own um, in our brand new house. So I will be cooking. I will be attempting to cook Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, wow. Did you already get the turkey? I already have the turkey. How big is your turkey? Oh, goodness. 25 pounds, I think. Wow. Yeah. So we're <laughs> going to see. I'm, I'm stuck. I have to cook it now. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Tosh. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Hey, gang. This is Ryan, the cannabidiet chef. This Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for my health, my children, all you listeners out there. I'm thankful for the CBD Source Podcast family for me getting married next year. Check that out. <laughs> the winter cannabis diet book coming out December. I'm happy I found Hostess Brownies last night at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Munchies. <laughs> the munchies. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Do you have any Thanksgiving plans? Um, I have one dinner at 1230. At night? No. Afternoon? At night in the afternoon, yeah. That's, how was that dinner? <laughs> then we have to go all the way over to Tunkhannock. Tunkhannock? Okay. Yeah, it's like an hour and a half ride. Two Thanksgiving dinners? Yeah. Nice. Time to get fat. <laughs> there you go. Grandma usually makes two turkeys, and then we get to cut it up and have it for lunches oh, nice yeah leftover, leftover turkey, turkey sandwiches turkey. with real mayonnaise oh those are the days i remember those days so nice yeah very cool so good luck good luck uh fitting into those jeans on monday <laughs> are you coming back on monday i thought i heard you might be i still have to talk to penny uh, yeah yeah i'm Cass is a you hunt avid fun. hunter <laughs> <laughs> this is probably why we haven't done a beauty episode because every girl around here is like a mountain woman you know everyone <laughs> lives up in the mountains here in upstate new york so hey, woman <laughs> <laughs> all right Cass. thanks for uh, stopping by and uh what are you grateful for this thanksgiving i am grateful for my family and the cbd gang <laughs> and all our reddit fans very cool thanks Cass. thanks for swinging in thanks for having me now that you're an American citizen, are you going to be celebrating Thanksgiving? Oh, yes, definitely. You are? Yep, What's... I got I to gotta change my clothes now. I'm American now. <laughs> <laughs> do you have plans for something you're going to do for Thanksgiving? Uh, planning to visit one of my brother's houses in Virginia, so I will planning to visit him nice. during this long weekend. Nice. Is he going to um, make a big Thanksgiving dinner and all that stuff? Yep. Wow, you really are becoming American, man. You really are an American now. Yep, I'm celebrating all the festivals. Very cool. <laughs> hey, guys, when you're trying CBD, start low and remember to titrate up. You heard it from the CBD Source Podcast. CBD gang. Give the show a call at 1-833-223-4264. That's 1-833-CBD-GANG. Well, gang, that was a fun episode. So today we talked to Danny and got a first-hand perspective about what CBD IO is all about, what it's like to be on that floor and work the Dan Blazarian Ignite booth, I feel like we're one step closer to getting Iron Mike on the show. We unboxed some CBD MD. Man, I've been enjoying that CBD all month, so thank you again, CBD MD. Great products. You can pick up any of those CBD products that we unboxed 
at any CBD source location. We have 60 locations in New York and Pennsylvania. That's 6-0. You can check out all of our locations on CBDSourceCenter.com. Uh, CBDMD is in all of our stores. We gave away some Pure Connor prizes. Thank you to Cody Alt from two episodes ago for supplying the, those prizes. And congrats again to Reverend to the Shadow. We'll be sending that box out to you so you can do your own unboxing. And hopefully it helps with your carpal tunnel, man. We got to hear from most of the CBD Source podcast crew about their Thanksgiving plans. I'm thankful for all of you guys and uh, for everyone who interacts with the show and listens. I personally read every email and every comment that comes in. Um, so please keep in touch with the show, interact with the show. If you want to win that CBD MD nighttime tincture because you have trouble sleeping, give us a call 1 833 CBD Gang. That's 1 833 223 4264. We want to hear your best insomnia stories or your best can't get to sleep nighttime tossing and turning ruining your day stories and maybe we'll play it on the air best story wins just make sure you're 21 or over to enter i've got our cannabidiet chef ryan in the studio with us thankful for vegas baby (laughs) excuse me i don't think you said that right let me try vegas baby Yeah, so we're going to be in Vegas for MJ BizCon. I think we're going to be doing all three days, and maybe the second day we're going to be renting a podcast table. So, so far we've got Frenchie Cannoli going to do 20 minutes uh, interview with us. Uh, we're looking to get Anthony Sullivan to come over to our table for 20. Uh, with, so that means we have like two open spots for interviews. Uh, we have like 90 minutes on the table. So anyone out there, uh, big names in the industry that are going to be at MJ BizCon, we will hook you up. Give us a buzz, one eight three three CBD gang, or drop us an email, CBD Source Podcast at gmail dot com. Let us know you're going. Let us know you want to be interviewed at our little. 90 minute booth we've got a small window <laughs> um other than that what are we going to be doing ryan what are we going to be doing there we are going to get educated on all aspects of the you know cannabis business which is a good thing for cb source podcast uh meeting tons of new people yeah we're gonna walk around and meet everybody we're gonna try to hit i don't know how there's 13 how many 1300 booths or something like that 1300 booths they said about 34,000 attendees yeah it's gonna be insane there's tons of after parties i don't know how many we're gonna be able to like crash because like most of them are paid i think we're gonna have to sneak in or like get someone to like hook us up if anyone's going to mj bizcon and you have uh connects to these after parties and stuff hook a brother up it's going to be a long, 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 long couple days. Oh, it's going to be the longest three days ever, man. It's going to be insane. Right after the last day, we have to fly back out here to New York. Friday the 13th. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Friday, December 13th. Uh, we'll be in the air. We will be in the air on Friday the 13th. <laughs> when we first get back from MJ BizCon, which is like December 13th, the, the next Wednesday, we'll try to get our first episode up about it. It's going to be a, a mad dash trying to edit some good quality stuff because we're going to have so many interviews, so much content, and probably so many Weed Man Van stories. And uh, yeah, it's going to be nuts. We're taking the Weed Man Van to Vegas, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to find all your, your Weed Man Van stories. I'm sure like in that crowd, we're going to see a ton of them. I mean, Vegas, it's legal. so It is. It is. Maybe we should try to set up a dispensary, like uh, meet and greet or like go to a dispensary find out ahead of time we can, if we can take the cameras and audio and stuff because that would be pretty cool uh have you ever been to a dispensary in vegas not in vegas <laughs> okay well that'll be cool it'll be a fun experience <laughs> i went to one last time when i went to champ so uh it'll be cool to to be able to bring the equipment in and, and actually talk to people and sample some of the goods or at least like sniff them you know actually this is gonna be my first time physically in vegas ever ever oh shit son <laughs> I flew through Vegas. I landed in Vegas. I never got off the plane in Vegas. Okay, just a layover. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. So uh, anyone who's going to MJ BizCon, make sure you you get in touch with us so we can uh, hang out or at least meet you and talk to you. Maybe I can dress up like Zach Galifianakis and 
Exactly. The hangover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I guarantee there are people like on the strip posing for pictures with that, wearing that costume and like making money like the, like the way, you know, the, the dirty Elmo's doing Times Square. I bet you there's, there are like hangover guys just posing. I'm sure. <laughs> it's got to be. Just like, don't roofie me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this was a really fun episode, gang, and uh, hopefully everyone out there is having a good Thanksgiving uh, or have good Thanksgiving plans. Maybe you're uh, listening to this while you're cooking up the old bird. Um, and my job has always been make the mashed potatoes. It's such a wuss job. <laughs> my family doesn't uh, put too much of a, a big uh, piece of responsibility on me, I guess just the mashed potatoes. But ever since my parents started going to Cleveland for Thanksgivings, Thanksgiving's not that big a deal for me. Like, it used to be a big family thing, but once my grandparents died, my, par- my parents didn't really take up the mantle. My aunt and uncle did for a while, and then it kind of just, everyone started doing their own thing. All the, all the uh, kids in my generation started having their own families, and then, you know, they did their own thing. So when you're in a relationship, sometimes you have to make compromise of whose family you're going to. Right. Like that's everyone has to do that. So, um, you know, you switch holidays, like who's going to do Christmas? Who's going to do Thanksgiving? Well, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, so we're doing Thanksgiving over there. Brett's parents are going to be there and, uh, it'll be a nice family Thanksgiving. I mean, with Thanksgiving, you can eat any time of the year. Just saying. You mean you can make a turkey any time of the year? You just have th- I had Thanksgiving in July. <laughs> Exactly. The ingredients are year round, right? You can pick up all those ingredients year round. They're more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know do if you it. can get eggnog year round, but you can get the other stuff. You know how to make it if you're a cadavanite, chef. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> we were, I just showed you a link a little while ago that's, I guess, going viral. Someone created a story about uh, making your own cannabis infused turkey gravy for Thanksgiving. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Not this year because we're just getting the cannabidiet off the ground, but I think next year we've got to do a full-on cannabidiet Thanksgiving and have guests over. And that would be ideal. How yeah. dope would that be? Like we should do a, every part of the full meal, s- full spread, full spread, full spectrum, <laughs> bristle. Eh? Yeah, like get everyone. You know, like fight off that. Uh, what, what's that ingredient in turkey that supposedly makes people sleepy? Oh, tryptophan. I don't know if the I don't know if the the CBD will compound with that and make you doubly tired. We'll fall into the pies. <laughs> I'm thankful for sweat. <laughs> do you ever when you do, when you have Thanksgiving? Does your family do some kind of like really cheesy um, saying what they're thankful for type of thing? No. We put the parade on. We eat. We go to sleep. <laughs> you fall asleep during the parade. Pretty much. You've never seen Santa. You never make it that far. I mean, I have like one eye open and I peek. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving's on us. You know, Thanksgiving's here. It seems like just yesterday was Halloween. It seems like it jumped from Halloween right to Thanksgiving. You know, like it's it came so damn fast. Like time is flying. And next thing you know, it's going to be Christmas. Like before you know it. Well, Christmas is tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it friggin' seems like it, man. It's crazy. Second Thanksgiving's over. It's like uh, instantly the lights are up you know the trees are like lit up in people's windows and the lights are up like have you seen any rogue elements of people who have already put their christmas lights up yeah a neighbor at her old house his his already decked out he's got balloons and it looks like the whole parade he got floats from his house he's got (laughs) his his walkway with candy canes he has a mickey mouse grinch it's just it's weird to see it up so soon. It's like you're jumping holidays. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Christmas. I love the decorating. But lately, I've been wanting to get my like BB gun out and just pop them <laughs> from my window. Like, pop, 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 pop. It's <laughs> it's sort of like an election when you start talking about it two years out. It's like you're you're jumping the gun. Like we're learning way too much about Christmas before it. Like we've even got our you know Thanksgiving meal on yet, or like people haven't even bought their turkeys yet. They've already got their lights up. It's crazy. So, gang, uh, happy Thanksgiving. If you're celebrating, if you're living in America and celebrating this bizarre tradition, um, if you're from any other country that isn't America and, and don't uh, understand this. Eat sport. turkey anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you can get your hands on turkey and cranberry sauce, then you're all good. Throw some gravy on there. If there's no gravy, is it really Thanksgiving? Depends on the kind of gravy. Turkey gravy. 
Yeah, but you got to make it right. <laughs> I've seen some people say, oh, it's turkey gravy. It's really just the juice from the turkey. Right, right. <laughs> no flour added. No, they just, oh, it's just saw, like straight up turkey juice. Whatever washes off the creature as, as it cooks. <laughs> bath water. Right, right. How do you make a good turkey gravy? Just like, you know, you're a chef. Tell us how, how a good turkey gravy could be made. And like maybe a good a way to make it a CBD turkey gravy, just to throw it out there. So next year, when the fall cannabidiet book comes out, we'll have a bunch of different ways to cook a turkey with CBD. Oh, uh, nice. And CBD butters, CBD, you know, anything, you know, from... The fixings, the stuffing, to right, everything. Right. So hopefully, this will be like my test year. We are gonna do an unboxing very soon from the Magic Butter Machine people. It's gonna be great. So we're going to be able to expand our kitchen and have so you know be able to extract from from dry flour, dry hemp flour, and make our own butters and oils. So that's coming up, and you know, with the cannabidiet in the, in the coming weeks and months, we're about to get <laughs> we're about to get crazy with that. So that's gonna be dope. Give, give the gang at home a way to make a CBD-infused turkey gravy. If you guys really want to know a good gravy recipe, follow me on the Cannabis Diet today. I'll have a recipe up there. Just follow me on the Cannabis Diet Instagram. Nice. So make sure to check that out if you haven't subscribed to the Cannabis Diet. Uh, also, your personal page on Instagram, Chef Ryan Weber. Uh, yes, sir. Where you'll also be posting Cannabis Diet stuff, and you have been. Great. So, gang, it was fun. Um... Thanksgiving's here. Enjoy. You know, don't track calories. That one day you can take a little break and relax. Enjoy yourself. So if anything, it's the one day a year you can gorge yourself and, uh, you know, work it off later if you're so motivated. All right, gang. This has been a fun one. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the credits, as always, for a little bonus material. Have a great Thanksgiving, gang, and I'll CBD you next Wednesday. Give the show a call at one is written, produced, and hosted by Cole Chaney. Graphic design, photo, and artwork by Ryan Weber, Johnny D, Kevin Bierfeldt, Steve, and Cole Chaney. Marketing by Penny Spinazzola. Special thanks to our resident CBD guru, Akas Patel, our CBD source vape lounge expert, Anthony Maltese, our Seabody fitness instructor, Danny, our personal cannabidiet CBD chef, Ryan Weber, our CBD News co-host and vocal artist, Tasha Miller, and our CBD gang, subreddit mod, social media maven, and wrap-up girl cast. That's me. Additional thanks to Caitlin, Liz, Ryan, and Kevin for lending your vocal talent. Want to be a guest on the show? Or do you have a great weed man van story? Or a story about your craziest experience with the munchies? Call us at 1-833-CBD-GANG. Again, that's 1-833-223-4264. And leave a message. If we like your story, we might play it on the show. Visit us on cbdsourcepodcast.com for all your links to social media, YouTube, and our message board, r slash cbdgang on Reddit. Be sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you next week. All information in this podcast or its related social media pages and interactions are for informational purposes only. The CBD Source Podcast does not offer medical advice. Its host, Cole Chaney, is not a medical professional. His experiences with cannabidiol and other cannabinoids are his own and may not affect you the same way. Everybody's endocannabinoid system is different. The statements made regarding CBD products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The efficacy of these products and the testimonials made have not been confirmed by FDA-approved research. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. All information presented here is not meant as a substitute for or alternative to information from healthcare practitioners. Please consult your healthcare professional about potential interactions or other possible complications before using any product. The Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act requires... Hey gang, want to score free CBD? Sign up for Loyal and Save Online or on your phone and use it whenever you shop at CBD Source locations. You'll earn points towards free products and other cool merch. Sign up for free at cbdsourcepodcast.com slash loyal. You can download the Loyal and Save app on iTunes or Google Play. That's all. Our loyalty app. Call Help designed it. <laughs> what is the worst thing that you've ever eaten, you've ever done for food to get food? 
while you had the munchies i'd love to know that oh that's a great idea what what is the craziest munchies you've ever had what is what is the biggest crave you've ever had and and the most disgusting thing you might have (laughs) resorted to like uh there's just nothing left in the fridge you came upon some weed didn't expect it and didn't do that shop ahead of time (laughs) (laughs) to make sure you had something uh, stocked and ready to go for that that munchie crave what did you end up eating because that that that's an interesting concept give us a call 1-833-CBD-GANG that's 1-833-CBD-GANG uh, the numbers are 223-4264. I want to hear from you. And if you have ever eaten garbage, or I should say food, <laughs> out of the garbage while having the munchies or any other crazy story, crazy earth story, or maybe a story that's not as crazy, just give us a call. Did you get so high that you ate your dad's 40-year-old Twinkie collection? (laughs) No, no, I did not do that. And that's probably because I don't eat Twinkies. (laughs) (laughs) That's probably the only reason. Did you at home get so high that you found your your parents' wedding cake topper in the freezer, thawed that shit out, and munched on it because you just had to have that cake? If I had one of those spare, just ha- just around, oh, I would. I'd be like, sorry, Mom. That's going to just have to be for next anniversary. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm defrosting it. That would be tough shit, man, and that thing is gone. Uh, did you eat an entire roll of... Uh, cookie dough. Oh, yeah, just raw cookie dough. Oh, yeah. Definitely, that's, that's something a lot of people probably had. If you went to go make brownies and ate half the batter. Oh, <laughs> I bet that's something someone's done for sure. Or if you are deciding to eat your leftovers that are about a week old and you're not sure if they're still good, give us a call. <laughs> right. Give us a call. What's the number, Tosh? 1-833-CBD-GANG. That's 1-833-CBD-GANG. CBD gang, we're looking for your weed man van stories. The typical weed man in van has many faces. Space cowboy. Roach. Filthy Frank. Many names. Scary Van Dam. Creepy Casper. Tired Tanner. And many different types of vans. But everybody has met him and everybody has a story. What spliff lord turns you to the dank side? We want to hear about your first experience with the wacky weed, the ganja, Miss Mary Jane. You know, trees, trees, trees. Give the show a call at 1-833-CBD-GANG. Tell us your story in three minutes or less, and we might play it on the show. Hell, one day we might animate it for our YouTube page. Yowza, it's dank AF in here. Someone's smoking the good stuff in the studio. We'll spray some Ozium and be right back with more of the CBD Source podcast. The gang's all here. The CBD gang. Hey, I'm Cass from the CBD Source podcast. I'm the social media maven and Reddit sub... What do they call it? Mod? Sub mod? Yeah, the, mod. Our, our sub- Reddit, subreddit mod. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're you're killing it on that on Reddit on our message board. Um, you're really throwing a lot of stuff up there and interacting with the fans. Thank you for listening to the CBD Source podcast. This is how we CB do it.